So less than an hour ago, Marty Stratton just released an official statement about the Doom Eternal OST. We're going to break it down, go over some of the latest news with it, and try to figure out what's going on from an unbiased perspective. My name is Austin. Let's read some of the letter and dive right in. I'll be skipping around through. It's a pretty lengthy letter. I recommend reading all of it on the Reddit post. I'll link in the description. But to get the gist of it, let's go over a few paragraphs. So over the past few weeks, we've, I've seen a lot of discussion centered around the release. Yes, that mixed was only 12 of the 59 tracks that Mick did. Now, when we scroll down, there have been attacks, direct and personal attacks on our lead audio, audio designer. That's Chad of its software. It looks like that Mick has replied, that will work together again. That was in an Instagram DM, which isn't really the best source to take, but it, based off of other posts that Mick has made, does seem to be pretty accurate. And again, like I said, I'm looking at this from an unbiased perspective. I'm taking both sides into consideration. I am just delivering the news here. We have E3 of last year. They announced that the OST would be included with the Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Now, there are different things. Like I said, if you read the post, when you go down, there are different deadlines that were set and that were not met from Mix Music. I understand as a musician that the creative process does take time that you don't want to rush it and that things can come up to make your process more difficult with your playing and your all, all, all that goes into it. But with the corporate world, you do have deadlines that you do have to make. And there were some legal processes that id was involved with that had to have the collector's edition out by a certain time or else people could go for a refund or just legal legal issues that had to have this out by a certain time so they extended the deadlines they said his bonuses would be the same they really worked with him there and tried to keep everything tried to keep everything flush uh, Mick said he would not work with them again but it seems that id didn't exactly have that in mind so maybe that shouldn't have been said like that, but either way, if we keep reading, several days later, Mick suggested that he and Chad working on the backup, there was a backup that Chad had started to work on that would be there just in case this deadline wasn't able to be met with all of the tracks. So the working on the backup combined what had each had been working on to come up with a more comprehensive release. So about 12 tracks is what Mick had originally. He again suggested that if more heavy tracks are needed, Chad's could be used to flesh it out further because most of what Mick had sent originally, there was a combat heavy track, but most of them were ambient. Marty felt that this would not be an accurate representation of Doom Eternal, so therefore he asked if we could have a backup from Chad to go on with the rest of it. Keep going and you keep reading. Just check check out the article for yourself there. Um, like I said, I'm trying to come at this from an unbiased perspective. I am a musician, so I, I have listened. I can hear the differences in the tracks, but... Uh, I, I feel like that, okay, I understand why Mick posted the things he did. He's an awesome musician. I love to crank his stuff in the car. He was on Rip and, uh, he wasn't on, the music was on Rip and Tear Radio, and I just, it was a great job. I just feel like that posting it on social media without having an official statement out there may have not been the best thing to do. Uh, it's it's not just that an army was rallied to release the Mick Mix, and attacks were made onto Chad, onto Bethesda, without actually having the full story there. So I feel like that the community, the community reached out and in and did some things that we shouldn't have done. We shouldn't have done. I've tried to keep an open mind and perspective on this. I did not actually do those attacks. I've, I tried to say, well, let's wait and see the full story. Let's see the full story. I understand that this is just one side. We have not heard Mick's side yet. I'm sure that there are things that both people want to bring forth, ideas and opinions that they want to bring. Um, I'm not sure of anything. I'm leaving any speculation out of this. I'm just bringing you what is in this itself and what I have physically myself seen as well as what the community has seen online. We, we don't know if there's an NDA. We don't know those details. So it is important. Please, if you take nothing else away from this, do not speculate. We do not have the full story. We will likely never have the full story. Both entities have a great part in this great game that we love. Please don't speculate. Please don't speculate. Just go with what we know for sure. It's an unfortunate situation all around. Uh, Mick will not be in the DLC per this letter at the very end. Uh, we, we've looked, hold on, let me pull this up here. As for the immediate future, we are at the point of moving on and won't be working with Mick on the DLC we currently have in production. As I've mentioned, his music is incredible. He is a rare talent, and I hope he wins many awards for his contribution to Doom Eternal at the end of the year. Yeah, uh, so it does. It's it sucks for everybody, you know. It sucks for everybody. Uh, as far as mentioning Chad on the 
on the metadata. It is just that. It is metadata. It's not meant to say that he composed the music, as this, as the article says. He is just given at least some type of credit for having work in the mixing process, which he had stepped up to do. And I just... Yeah, it's, 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 it's an unfortunate situation. I hate that it's happening. I'm not placing blame on anything, anyone saying it's completely this person's fault or completely there. I just am trying to look at this, like I said, from an unbiased perspective, just bringing you the news. It's all I'm doing here today. And my quick breakdown, this happened just about an hour ago. We don't have much else other than that. I'll link the post in the description below. Like I said, both are great, great entities. I hate that this happened this way. Mick is upset, I'm sure. It is upset. Everybody's upset. And hopefully that... Something good comes from this. Uh, there's a lot of calls for more musicians. Trent, uh, Andrew Holschalt, uh, Trent Reznor, both have been mentioned in a comment section. But let me know what you think in the comments below. With a civil perspective, keep them, keep them civil in the comments. My name is Austin, bringing you this news here today, signing off. Thank you for watching and listening, and I will see you next time.